So today's episode of the JavaScript interview series is all about dot notation versus square bracket syntax when you're referring to accessing properties of objects. So I have two objects here, one called Sam, one called Dean. Sam's got one property called Cast Castiel, and Dean's got two properties, one called John, one called Mary. Now, I have four console log statements here, and the question is, which, if any, of these three log statements will work without giving an error? So I'm going to give you a minute to think about the answer for that, and then we'll come back and talk about the solution. If you're looking for the starter code, you'll find a link, find a link to it in the description down below. Okay, welcome back. So what we're going to be doing here is looking to see which of these is going to work properly and understanding why. Now, for this example right here, we have to understand how JavaScript views square bracket syntax versus the dot notation. When it's looking at the square brackets, it will take everything inside the square brackets and try to do that all as one grouping. So if I've got one set of square brackets here, it's going to look at sam.castgel to see if that is a valid property. If I've got multiple, then it's going to go to the innermost set and try and find that. So looking at the first one here, Dean and then sam.castgel in the square brackets. In this case, this will work because this will look for Sam. Do we have an object called Sam? Yes, we do. Does it have a property called Castiel? Yes. So that is going to be the same as Dean, and then in square brackets, Mary. Sam.castgel, the value is Mary. It's a string, so that goes inside of here. And this will be Dean, Mary. Do we have an object Dean? Yes. Does it have a property called Mary? Yes. The value of that is Chuck. So this will come back with Chuck. So that one works. Next, Dean.Sam.castgel. Well, because it's all dot notation, it will read it from left to right. So do we have an object called Dean? Yes. Does that have a property called Sam? No. So this one we will get a failure for. This one is not going to work because it doesn't look at all the individual pieces and see if they have together something that would be able to be used here. This will read it left to right. Next one, we've got two sets of square brackets. So it goes to the innermost one to figure out what that is. Cast gel. Okay, it's a string. Then going up one level, Sam. Does Sam have something called Castiel as a property? Yes, it does. And again, this will come down to the same thing as the first one. So it'll be Dean and then Sam.Castiel or Sam square bracket Castiel. That will come out to Mary, which once again will come out as Chuck. So we can here look at this one as Sam Castiel, that's valid. That's the thing that's going to come up as Mary. Now, another way of writing that is Sam.Castiel. That would work as well. But we can see here there's a slightly different version, Sam with Castiel in square brackets. That one is not going to work. The reason that this one is not going to work is there's no quotation marks around Castiel. So it's going to go to the innermost one, same as we did previously, and it's going to say, hey, do you have an object called Castiel? It'll come up here. Nope. Nope. Nothing up here called Castiel. So that means what we are really looking at is Dean, Sam, and then inside these innermost ones, undefined. So does Sam have a property which uses undefined as the key? No, there is nothing using undefined as a key like that. So this is not going to work. That's going to fail. So Sam doesn't have something called undefined and Dean doesn't have anything called undefined. This is going to fail, give us an error. So we have another failure right here. And there we have it. So first and the third one both work will give us the value Chuck and the second and the final one will both fail. If you have any questions about that, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And once again, you'll find in the description, there's the link to the starter code and there is also a link to the rest of the uh, JavaScript interview series playlist. As always, thanks for watching.